Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sipnewski, and thank you so much for popping by my channel for another LumaFusion tutorial. I've been getting a lot of requests for glitch effects in LumaFusion, but keep in mind, LumaFusion is different than some of those other paid editing softwares that you might be familiar with, Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve. These guys have built-in glitch effects that you can apply to your clips and tweak them. We can't really do that with LumaFusion, but as long as you're creative with LumaFusion, there always seems to be a workaround. You just have to figure it out and have the patience to apply it to get that to work for you. So I've come up with two different glitch effects that are going to work with LumaFusion and your clips. You just have to be a little patient when you apply these to your different videos, but it's doable, totally doable. So let's go ahead and jump into glitch effect number one. Now this is something that I completely came up with on my own. I know there are a few different other tutorials out there showing you how to do glitch effects, but I didn't find anything that resembled my glitch effect. So I, I think this could be very unique to my channel, hopefully. So let's go ahead and jump right on into it. Naturally, you're going to pick the clip that you wanna work with. Now I noticed that the glitch effect seems to work better when there's motion in here. So I'm going to do it right where my friend is dipping her paddle into the water. Now I am going to, well, before I do that, let me get rid of any audio that's there. So right about there, make your first cut. And that was at 12.14 seconds. So now what I wanna do is go up about a second and a half. Make your second scissor clip. So now what we wanna do is take this one little second and a half clip and begin to clone it. And we do that by hitting the plus sign. Hit it again. Now we just have to throw this on top. Okay, let's say LumaFusion is not cooperating for you and not allowing you to do anything. Just go ahead and reset it. Clear the program out by hitting your home screen twice and throwing it out, and that is going to allow you to basically reboot the program. And now, see the white square? If you see a white square, you know you're golden. Do it again. If you see a gold square, no good. Okay, so now, remember, we can have a total of six different video clips, six different layers. We're only going to do five, and you'll find out why in a little bit. So we are going to double click on our first layer. And this is going to bring us to the properties window of this clip. So the first thing that we wanna do is go to color and effects. Now what we wanna do is drop a color onto this. Now we can choose one from here, like red, or we can always go down and pick something directly off the color wheel here. Move any color that you want. But I like this one, so we're gonna stay with this one. Now we go to frame and fit. Now we're just gonna expand that out a little bit, and we're gonna to go to blending, and we're going to reduce the blending so that we can see the different layers of video. Because if you just leave it at 100%, that's what it's going to look like. So we need to pull that down. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing with the second clip, except we're going to pick a different color. So let's go ahead and pick a green color. Frame and fit again. I'm gonna make that a little bigger and pull it down. Go to blending, same thing. We're gonna pull it down so that we can see the different clips, okay. Now for the third layer, I'm going to add an effect. So we want to go to color and effects and go to this effects icon. Now here we can apply any one of these effects, but I really do like these little crystal ones. And we can move this back and forth. to make it look very pixelated. And we can still even have a different color going with this one. So let's go ahead and pick maybe invert. 
That looks funky. Frame and fit again. Make it that bigger and pull this way down and over like that. Blending again. We always want to blend out the different layers. Our final clip, another effect. Hmm. We'll do this angles one. Same thing. Let's drop a color on this, this green one. This already have a green, right? So let's go ahead and do maybe this blast one. Frame and fit again, blending. Let's see how this looks. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with this one is crop it. like that. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so now what we want to do, remember I said we left that other layer blank, because what we want to do is come over and grab a title, and we always go to the plain white titles, grab that and put it right as our top layer, and what I'm going to do is make it a little longer than the first clip. And throw that away. So we're double click on that. And what we're going to do here is throw that away immediately. We're going to go to the plus sign because what we want to pick is a shape. And what we want to pick is a line. And we're just randomly going to start throwing lines onto this. As many lines as you want. And if you don't want lines, you don't have to use lines, but I think this just adds to the authenticity of what a glitch really looks like, especially those of us that are familiar with VHS tapes. There is always lines in those. And no rhyme or reason to these, just as random as you could possibly get them. Let's go ahead and take a look to see what this is going to look like. Okay, so if we just left it like that, boring. So what we need to do is start moving these clips and we do that by just dragging out some of them a little longer a touch longer. Okay, now what we want to do is make sure nothing is highlighted in particular. We want to start adding scissor cuts. Every couple of frames, a scissor cut. Okay, so now what we want to do is start erasing some of these frames. This is going to give your clip motion and movement. Let's see how this looks. Okay, that looks good. 
I think that's funky, but what we can do to even add a little bit more of a glitch effect is to completely delete some of these clips. Now, to do that, we have to delete the clips from the main timeline, but you can't just hit delete that and throw it away because that's going to throw away every single thing instead of leaving a blank space. So let's back out of that. What we need to do to cut individual frames out of the main timeline and not have them compress is we come over to the left-hand side of the screen. You see this little arrow that's pointing to the right? We need to tap it until it's orange and pointing down or yellow. So what this is going to do is release the timeline so that we can go ahead and just cut individual frames so that it's going to be completely black. And that's gonna give us a little bit of a strobe effect. So let's check that out. I think that was awesome. So remember, you can make these glitch effects as long as you want or as short as you want. You just have to layer things up and use all the different colors and effects and don't be afraid to be daring. Go ahead and just fool around with it. You just have to go into the colors and effects and find which ones you think are going to look best for your clips. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you have any requests for future videos, please leave them in the comment section below and I will see you next time. And until then, wear that sunblock.